Fast Eddie Constantine Pro MMA here with Ryan Darth Bader. Ryan, how you doing today? Doing great. Just doing a little photo shoot here, having some fun. So. And, and the recovery, how's the leg feeling right now? Uh, it's feeling a little better than when it happened, uh, you know, after the fight. Uh, it was really swollen, it was stiff, I uh, couldn't really walk without a noticeable limp. But uh, now, you know, I got a brace on it, but it's feeling a little better as far as walking-wise, so it's loosening up a little bit. Uh, it's still sore, uh, tore my MCL and my PCL, so uh, uh, just rehabbing that, and then uh, I'll be back. Now we're here in San Francisco right now in the Northern California Bay Area. We're coming out for the Strike Force show tonight. Anything you're excited to see? Any any fight that really stands out in your mind this evening? I'm looking forward to you know see the Diaz and Shamrock fight. Uh, and then I, I got a buddy you know I wrestled with that's on the card also back in uh, ASU. And so uh, yeah, it's, you know looking forward to seeing some fights and uh, just relaxing a little bit. I was saying, and we all know you are the ultimate fighter winner from season seven, I believe, eight, right? Yeah. Eight, season eight, correction on that. Um, Rodrigo Minotaro Nogueira definitely took a liking to you. Is that a relationship you're looking to foster and continue working with him in the future? Yeah, for sure. You know, we, you know, I see him at the fights. So I've talked to him, you know, over the phone and whatnot. But uh, yeah, we, you know, I love to keep that relationship going. And uh, you know, he's a great guy. Can't say enough good things about him. But you know, we went out to his place, his gym in uh, Miami, before the finale. You know, uh, Efren Escudero and uh, Kyle Kingsbury and I all went out there. So he's a great guy. You know, anytime you need anything, you call him up, and you know, he's there for you. So uh, yeah. Definitely continuing that relationship, and you know, and he has a great team out there, and you know, also, so it's great to work with him and you know, all of his training partners. Was it hard to focus down in Miami with all the the yeah. scenery around? Yeah, you know, we uh, we say you know we had to be good because the finale was coming out, but uh, yeah, we walked around. It was the first time I was in Miami, so it was definitely a, a cool place, cool experience. Outstanding. Now, when are we looking to see you back in the octagon? I'd probably say you know uh, you know late summer, probably around like August or so. Uh, you know, I want to get the knee all healed up. And uh, you know, before I really start training on it and tweaking it again, so uh, you know, three, four months, probably four months. Uh, but it, it's up to UFC, so I'll let them know when I'm good and healthy to go, and then uh, it's on them. Another Arizona fighter, Ryan Bostianelli, is coming up for the Gladiator Challenge title. What is, what's your take on him? Oh, Bostianelli is a you know, he's a great fighter. Uh, definitely progressed. You know, uh, I've I've known him since uh, ASU wrestling days. So it, it's uh, it's great to see all these ASU wrestlers being successful with you know, uh, Kane, Bostianelli, myself, CB, Aaron Simpson. You know, uh, it's great. And then you know, he's out there and gonna fight for the title. And it's uh, you know, for him, it's off to bigger and better things from there. So uh, you know, I wish him luck. And uh, you know, I think he's doing, gonna do a good job. Another new addition, actually, with Arizona Combat Sports, we all know Carlos Condit is down there working with you guys. How's that exchange of knowledge been? Oh, it's awesome. You know, Carlos comes in there and brings an intensity, you know, not a lot of people have. You know, he has one uh, one speed and it's 100%. Like, he, he, he's sparring, whatever, you're trying to, you're trying to uh, you know, drill with him, he's going 100%, you know, but uh, it's good. You know, it's, it's nice to have that level, uh, you know, that guy with, you know, 25 plus fights and with that experience in there. Um, you know, he's a great guy. We all mess well. Um, he has stuff that, you know, we haven't really seen and vice versa. We work with him on his wrestling, you know, he and he's awesome with the knees and his elbows. So, uh, it, yeah, it's great to train with him, great to have him on our team. And, you, you know, you're going to see big things from him. Yeah, definitely. Well, we expect a lot of big things, especially from you as well. You know, changing focus here a little bit on the social aspect. You know, some uh, website we've seen you on recently has been MMA Jacked. And how is that going for you? It's going good, you know, it's basically, uh, you know, kind of like a MySpace for MMA and uh, you kind of can uh, connect to all your fans, you know, you know, like a MySpace, you have people from every genre and whatnot, but, you know, MMA Jack, they are your fans and, and, uh, and you can pretty much just go out there and speak directly to them if you're trying to promote something, just want to say hi, you want to get some feedback. Uh, I did a couple, you know, Q&A uh, little things for them and uh, it turned out well, you know, people came out to ask some questions and it's, it's great just interacting with the fans. Wonderful. And we, we do know Chuck Liddell is also involved with MMA Jack. Is that somebody you could look to work out with in the future as well? Oh, absolutely. You know, I've heard uh, nothing but good things about Ch uh, Chuck. We have mutual friends and, uh, you know, I could learn definitely a lot from uh, from Liddell. So uh, a couple of buddies were out there training with, have trained with him before and uh, you know, said nothing but good things. So, yeah, definitely. And any sponsors you want to thank? I just want to, you know, if you guys go to RyanBader.com, there's videos of us training, uh, blogs, and you'll, you'll see all my sponsors there at, at, the, uh, at the bottom. And then uh, uh, Cleanse Towel actually is a very cool sponsor. They uh, actually send out uh, boxes, basically a shower 
in a towel and they send it out to the troops. So you can go on their web website and check that out. It's definitely a, you know, a cool sponsor helping out the troops. Outstanding. Well, thank you, Ryan Bader, so much for joining us thank at Pro you. Limit.